Hello everybody and welcome. Today we'll be checking out a pretty interesting run that was suggested to me by one of my viewers. This is a secret room based run. So we're going to be starting out with a tainted treasure item. This is the Gaze Master. Improve the layout and rewards of super secret rooms and secret rooms. Pretty cool. Of course, we are going with Luna as well, and then Burgo Bombs, so that we have more bombs to work with. And then we also have the Fragmented card as well. And as you can see, I was just testing setting up this run, and I got a Planetarium. Um, the person that suggested this did say I should go with no treasure rooms, which is kind of scary. But a Planetarium to start us out might be decent. I've got this Blue Baby as well as a bit of a downside. I am very intrigued to know exactly how much these secret room layouts improve because that could be pretty goddamn good so yeah secret room as uh, treasure room here we we can't uh, go in but we can try and gain more planetariums through this although i'm not entirely sure can we gain more than one planetarium maybe i need to give myself the um the lens as well i'm not sure there's a secret room there open that's nice and we get to see what sort of layout improvements we get to start with here so we've got the milk of baphomet we, of course, get a fire rate increase, and I know this is a cheeky one. I know how to open this. Good, good, good. Uh, yeah, Milk of Baphomet's pretty decent on-hit, random on-hit chance effect sort of thing. That's not bad. Um, I, I do believe that Fragmented Card and Luna won't produce any additional secret rooms on this floor. Um, I do not like the fact that you have a working good sir. So, realistically, something we want to look for right now is any sort of mapping. Any blue map would be absolutely stupendous. It would be so, so very good. So that would be like a number one uh, item that I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, as for the question of the day, what's your favorite secret room item from vanilla or modded? And why is it so? Uh, by the way, I, I could um, have my trinket um, smelted here, I guess. But for now, I'm, I'm okay with how it is. I'll, uh, I'll see if, if needs must later on, but I thought it'd be okay to just leave it unsmelted. Also, there, I don't think there's a command to directly smelt something from what I know of. Um, second secret room's a little harder to suss out here. I'm probably going to leave it and then hold my bombs for the next floor. Uh, we did get a key, of course, so let's go and check out this planetarium. It's kind of crazy that, like, yeah, yeah I, I've restarted like two or three times just while I was spawning in the items and I got a planetarium. I was like, well, I have to go with this one. Salt, tier rate goes up and down sporadically. That is a tier 4. Oh, man. Oh, man. That is sporadically. Holy. That's kind of interesting. I like the idea behind that. So we're going to get sort of, sort of like a potential rapid fire burst of more tiers, but also the potential chance of lower tiers. Now, I do wonder how upping our actual tier stat with Luna is going to help with that. Is that going to just change the lower bounds or increase the higher bounds of what fire rate we can get overall it seems like a decent dps increase i mean it is a quality four so i'd assume it would be that's a pretty interesting planetarium item though one that i haven't seen before either which adds to the showcase of the run i guess it just adds a little bit of something um synth oil lovely stuff um and I'm going to go down this way. Why not? I'm going to go down this way. Considering we don't need keys for treasure rooms, really, um, I don't mind going this way. Oh, we got a fall from grace error there. I'd actually see an error. Interesting. Um, ooh, okay. Automatically unlocks the doors of downpour mines and mausoleum after defeating the boss. That's not bad. Turns back time when you die. Destroyed once. Ooh, that's also pretty good. It's going to be a little annoying with this salt thing, though, when it doesn't fire when you need it to. <laughs> when the fire rate gets really low at the worst possible time. Because it does seem that the sporadicness of it... Yeah, look at that, look at that. Do you see how I just, like, wouldn't fire there? I don't know, this doesn't seem quality 4 to me, to be honest. Like, it seems like an overall DPS upgrade sometimes, but, like, now it's terrible. Like, I'm not firing shots anywhere near as sort of normally as I would be. In that scenario, it's kind of like, I don't know, it seems seems worse. But we'll guess, I guess we'll just suss it out. Now, finding all of our secret rooms here, we have three regular secret rooms per floor. I think we only have one special secret room still. Um, but it's going to be kind of hard to suss out exactly where they all are. We did get some extra bombs there. Let's go for the one we know right now. I do like the fact that we've got synth oil for a bit of damage up. That does make things... A little easier, I've got to say. Oh, you didn't fully die there. 
It's kind of spooky. I've got to do that, don't I? Yep. Gotcha. Oh! Oh, that's another luck penny. Wow, okay. Um, oh, I'm really bad at, like, managing exactly where the, the wall's meant to be here. Is it, like, here? There you go. And in here, that's not very improved, unfortunately. That's just a bunch of batteries. Although, at least I should probably throw out some poops here. You might get something. I don't know. I've got to try it out. But yeah, the shop is going to be my best friend at the moment. Ow. Bad hit. Petrified poop would probably be pretty good, but that's something we cannot hold right now, so maybe not. Okay, let's just keep marching, marching through right now. Oh, God. You need to... Yep. Die. So, I'm going to try this for a room here. Ah, damn it. Unfortunate. I'll take a pill. Ah, oh, shot speed down. Although our shot speed is pretty high, actually, so that's not a bad thing. Okay, so where's the potential here? Where's the potential? Let's have a little look, see. I'm not seeing it. Oh, I can use these poops to throw on enemies. Nice. I didn't really think about that. Not like a Baphomet hasn't done anything crazy for us as of yet. Oh, I can do this though. That didn't really work. Damn it. I threw that in the wrong place. Okay, um, here looks good. There you go, there's another secret room, baby. Hopefully I'll get some bombs as a return from this. Well, we got items, we got flat stud, decent. And we get the eternal D12. Um, with switches between two modes, with two charges, there's a high chance to reroll grids and a low chance to wipe away grids. With one charge, has a low chance to reroll grids and a high chance to wipe away grids. Interesting. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. So I can use it at one charge. Interesting. So there, there is technically another secret room here somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure where that would be. Um, It could be here, I guess. I'm going to try it. Ah, unfortunate. Waste of a bomb. So, yeah, that'll just delete them. Okay, that, that could be kind of useful to us. Now, we don't have a, um, a bomb to work with on this guy, which is a little unfortunate, because this guy does get absolutely mullered by bombs. Yeah, 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 you're besting through. I see, I see it. Oh, my goodness. He has created quite a lot of smokies. Thank you for that. Wire coat hanger, good stuff. And we're playing as Blue Baby here, so we'll check out the Devil Deal, unfortunately. Not a Devil Deal. Oh, and I lost that soul heart to stupidity. How dare I? How dare I? Right, let's keep going. I like the way this entire D12 switches between modes. That's kind of cool. Okay, so we are going to need some bombs pretty shortly here. We're doing decent damage. I, I like having a flat stone here as well. It's not an item that makes that much of a difference, but I just kind of stylistically enjoy it. So that didn't do anything that time. I don't really know why I used it on this room, to be fair. Oh my goodness. Also, why did you all get... Oh, okay, Milka Baphomet. I was like, why did you all get uh, turned invisible? Okay, we're, we have lost some pretty stupid HP in the last few seconds of this run. Not ideal for us. Not ideal. I'm really hoping we get a blue map, because I'm going to miss out on so many potential secret rooms. I also obviously just need to make sure I'm finding bombs. But Bogo Bombs does help with having bombs to utilize, but it's not a guarantee. Burger bombs guarantees nothing. Yeah, the head is the head is loose. This could be bombs. There you go. It is indeed right. Back up to the secret room. I always want to do the secret room first because it is going to affect our fire rate, at least I think. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how Luna works with this soul item. It's a bit up in the air right now, but I think it's good overall. Beautiful. Hey, that's a decent layout. 
that helps us immensely. Magic mushroom, speak to me. Okay, let's quickly go to our shop and get blue map, because there's obviously going to be blue map in the shop. We just know it for a fact. Ah, bell clapper's pretty good though. I'll take bell clapper. I liketh the bell clapper. Take out these guys. Get a bit more money ready for later. And yeah, now now it's going to be a non-stop bombathon until we find every last secret room available to us here. Try that out. There's another one. Beautiful. A pretty good one as well, yet again. Oh, dude, the money's flowing. The money is flowing. I love golden bombs, baby. Oh. And it's giving us more bombs back. Also, old rattle. I quite like. That was pretty good stuff. There's another secret room and then a second secret room for us to find as well. Yeah, the, the rattle's pretty good. Firing off some random shots for us to enjoy, which I think are working pretty nicely with Flatstone to create a lot of AoE bonuses for us. And there's our third regular secret room. I'm liking this. I'm hoping we'll get a secret room item at some point soon. The better secret room reward thing should hopefully give us something at some point, I'd imagine. Oh my goodness. Money time indeed. Money time indeed. So we, we are in a very good position to potentially get blue map, should it become available to us. Because we now have a decent supply of money. Now, do I want to buy restock? Potentially. Right, second secret room is what we're looking for now. I think restock's probably a decent idea. I'm going to shortcut through here, why not? Not quite sure where second secret room will be. Right. Go buy restock, just because then we have the, the option to potentially uh, get blue map by buying multiple items. You never know. You never know. Um, I guess I'll check here. Nah, that's not going to be it, is it, obviously? It's going to be in this last room here, I'm pretty sure. Let's chickity check it out. I don't know if it improves second secret room layouts as well. I'm pretty sure it does. Oh, we get two second secret rooms. I actually didn't expect that. Ooh, we got some decent stuff here. I'll blow you up. I might spend some money here, to be honest. I might spend some money here. There's some good stuff there. Wowie. Okay, do I do I gamble on this? Because I've not got enough keys to make it work. I'm going to try it. Damn you. Oh, no, it did open. Ho, ho, ho. This has been very lucrative thus far. Okay, right. I want the mouse clicker, but I'm not willing to go any more than 20 cent for it. So, four players. One... Two, three, and four. That's your lot, you stupid machine. God damn it. Get destroyed. Oh, yes, I forgot. I have a mod on that gives you a 25% chance to get the item if you bomb the machine. I completely forgot I had that. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm willing to give you um, a little bit as well. Uh, that's not an item I really care for. Actually, is it on you sending me... Um, on use explodes any enemy with less than one third of the maximum health remaining. Enemies will glow if they're able to be detonated. Uh, let's give that a go. Let's give that a go. We've got a pretty interesting build going on right now. And we got an angel deal as well. Okay, okay. Good stuff there, all around. This item is amazing. <laughs> this item's so goddamn good. All of our um, red hearts become soul hearts, like blended ones. So we're going to have a lot more health available to us. Doesn't change half hearts, though. I thought I'd grab this guy. Why not? Um, Summons one angelic baby familiar for a current floor. That's pretty interesting, but obviously not super useful for us right now. I can't believe we've got so many bombs this floor. 
Thank God I checked that other wall for the second secret room there. Really just gonna give me like all of these fellas? No money at all, right. I'm gonna count continue on this path to be honest. I'm enjoying it. Right, let's go. So far, so good. No secret room items yet, but this has been a good run. The secret room layouts have paid off with a lot of stuff for us. And we've got a really interesting run with uh, the, the Shaker and um, Flatstone and potentially this Lilith, Lily thing. I don't know how good it's going to be, but I'm interested to try and see it work. Secret room here is going to be not ideal for us. Okay. Just get in there and bomb all of these. Damn it, no item. Didn't get so lucky there. We've got plenty of pills to work with though here. Experimental pill. I found pills. Puberty. Okay. Nothing amazing there. Didn't I have 27 bombs on the last floor? Did I use that many in that one room? Apparently so. I didn't realize quite how many I'd spent there. Dude, this rattle's cool. I don't know how much damage it's actually helping with and how much it's doing for us, but I like it. Okay. Let's keep going. We need to find our shop. I want that blue map. I will not rest until I have that blue map. It would make our life so much easier. Bit of speed. This looks secret room-esque. There you go, there's another one. Hey, we finally got an item. Sinister Chalk. Draws silhouettes on the floor in every room. Stand in the silhouette to summon a shadow. Type of shadow depends on the floor you're on. When the room is cleared, silhouette disappears. Interesting. Interesting. So, in a room we'll see a silhouette. Okay, there's a silhouette. And then I stand on it. And it spawns. Okay, it just spawns like a familiar. Does that familiar last through rooms? I'm curious. So if I go in here... No, I don't think it does. Just a bit of a shame. Right. Let's keep moving along. I want to find that shop. And the rest of our secret rooms. Oh, dude, it spawned it on the island. That's not fair. I can't reach that. Hey, there's a blended. Lovely stuff. We've got good range. These tiers seem to be lasting a while. Ah, so when the room clears, I can no longer grab it. Makes sense. Uh, pop Pop is pretty fun. I'll take Pop Pop. Deep Pockets is pretty good too. I will take that. This looks Secret Room-esque. There it is, baby. Got some bombs back. Lovely. Bomb these guys as well. Dude, I think, I think one of the things that's vastly improving is the amount of nickel eye keepers that we're getting. We seem to be getting one or two every single room. The silhouette thing seems decent. Okay, he does follow me to the next room. Okay, that, that makes it a lot better. Okay, so interesting here. My, uh, using Pop Pop halves my fire rate for a short time, but with this salt item, I don't think that's that big of a downside. Yeah, we can kind of create a little army with this item. Oh, that was a bad hit. I'm liking it. I'm not sure what's more DPS, though. It's just, it might just be more DPS just to use my shots. Oh, I did not see that there. <laughs> I was not paying attention. That was a bad bomb. Ah, get off me. Get off me. 
At the minute, this is just gambling, hoping for the best. Spawn me another friend. Got both of them in, in their annoying stage now. We do have a guy that's firing bombs that doesn't seem to be doing any damage to this guy, which is slightly annoying. There you go, we got them both. Ooh, converts two soul hearts into empty burn hearts. Yeah, decent. Actually, is that decent? Yeah, it's not really great for us, to be honest, as this character. Um, second secret rooms we want to be finding. We've proven that they were pretty darn good before. The only thing with second secret rooms is I'm not very good at finding them. So... Well, there's one. I forget that Luna gives you a half soul heart on use as well. And honestly, other second secret room here, I'm not not that privy to. We did actually manage to secret room next to a cash room over there that I didn't realize though, so I should go and uh, check that out. I should go and check that out. I'm going to have to go all the way around here though because of where I entered this room from. It's my fault. Oh, dude. Could have just bombed it for me. I will do three of these. Prepare to be disappointed. Thoroughly disappointed. Health down. Oh, my God. Telepills. That's at least a shortcut back to the boss. Thank you. Right. Okay. We are good to go. Not the best floor there. I'm really, really hoping that we get like a really cool secret room item, but that's seeming like it's getting further and further away from happening. We did get another planetarium though. Beautiful. Stars aligned means we've got a planetarium on this floor. Oh my goodness. The rock's falling. The game doesn't like the rocks falling. Also, as well, to be fair, when I use my pop pop, it also uses my clicker, which is nice. That's not bad. I'll take it. D3. Oh, you know. You know how much I love. Dude, Notched Axe is pretty amazing for us right now. I definitely want Notched Axe. Beautiful. Notched Axe is obviously very, very good for us because now we can way more easily check for secret rooms. Yeah, in case you haven't seen the D3 before, this thing gets very wild. When we shoot through it, it re-rolls our tears into all sorts of shenanigans. That's another secret room. Oh, Notched Axe. Didn't even think about that as being like a really good one to get, but it really is. And now I can use all my bombs exclusively on these guys, which is very nice. Because we are getting a lot of money from them right now. We got golden bombs, baby! Golden Bombs is very nice for us. What are you doing there? Sucking up some charge? Alright, we can find all the secret rooms again this floor. Ow. Neither there nor there. Back up this way then, I guess. Oh my god. I kind of like the design of that room. That's cool. Thank you for some more bombs. Notched axe. Nope. There you go. I knew there was one somewhere near here. Getting unlucky with the items, though. Getting unlucky with the items. Not had really any secret room items. 
coming our way. Pop Pop's doing us some good work. Ow. Taking some stupid damage on this floor, though. I say that as I walk directly into an enemy seemingly on purpose. Okay, wait for this one guy to come around. Dude, the triple dime? Are you kidding me with the triple dime? Little golden heart there. Thank you. There it is, baby. We got them all. We got them all. Surleon of Apollyon. Bacana. And we'll take a soul of Isaac for a secret room later, I think. Makes sense to me. Okay. I think we're good to go at this point, pretty much. Yeah. I think we're good to go. Actually, to be fair, we, we could play the shop a little more. This is our last shop, right? Yeah, this is our last shop. No, is it? No, it's not. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not. I don't think it is. I might be wrong on that. Hello, Gideon. It's great to see you. There is a lot happening right now with my tears. I don't quite know how to describe it. Look at all the little bouncies. Look at them go. I love this item. The shaker is so cool. The shaker is a beautiful one. Ow. Dude, come on. You ain't gotta be like this. Okay, you just you just walked into the fire and killed yourself there, so I'll give you props for that at least. That was pretty ballsy of you. We summoned a, a little little fella. We lost a goddamn burn heart. Okay, we're pretty much done here. Delirium is the worst designed boss. You can say that again. What is going on with this guy? Why is he just uh, spewing massive tears? Squeezy. Nice. And a devil deal. Well, this thing's just free, isn't it? Yeah, this thing's literally just free. And then this... Yes, this is very good. Blocks one hit a room. It's basically like better holy mental. <laughs> right, okay. Down we go. I think we do still have a shop to go to on this next floor here. Yes, we do, okay. I just forget what this room does. It's got no EID description. I'm pretty sure it's like, if I hurt myself on it, I will uh, gain damage, I think. Ooh, the world is rather nice here. That helps us out immensely. Allows us to more easily figure out a secret room. Like, like, this secret room over here, I literally would have never found. <laughs> Gotta remember I can use my notched axe nowadays. Mom's repository is very good for us here. Ooh, green mozzie. Green mozzie is scary. Why isn't he hittable right now? Oh, no. Green mozzie, stop it. You spook me. This is the bit that spooks me. Which lobs about a thousand explosives at you. Okay. We can actually use our bombs for combat a little bit now as well, if we want. Not that we really need to, but we can. Beautiful stuff. This shaker with their uh, flat stone might be one of my favorite things. 
Just the repeated AoE that it gives. Is this guy a rainbow champion? He might have been, but he's gone now. I'm actually kind of surprised that we're not doing amazingly for health, considering we've got the item that makes all red hearts into blended hearts. I would have thought that I've paid off more than it has. Oh, dude, I when did our speed get so bad? What did I take to ruin my speed? Or has it always been this bad and I've only just now noticed? Still, the items do not do not come forth and reveal themselves to us. As I blended. Hey, there's a second secret room. Oh, is this just a regular secret room? No, this is just a regular secret room. Okay. It's slightly confusing why it spawned everything over here, but I'll take it. Hey, health is looking much better now. Okay, second secret rooms we're going to have to get a bit creative in trying to find. I have some ideas, but I'm not entirely sure where it could be. Nope. Nope. Probably go up here and check up here as well. Nope. At least we can easily check now. Item room, I leave you alone still. Wait. On that other floor, didn't we get a planetarium and I just never found it? Am I stupid? What happened to that planetarium? Hmm. Hmm. There's a very good chance that I just kind of forgot to go and find that. I apologize for those of you that were screaming at me. For that entire duration, I'm sure that you died inside. Okay. Shop, we've been looking for you. And what do you hold for us? Sharp plug doesn't really do anything for us, but I'll buy it to see what's under you. This is my last shop, so I might as well just buy it all up. God damn it. You don't have anything for me. I guess I could Soul of Isaac these items. I'm gonna I'm gonna spawn a bunch of items from this guy and Soul of Isaac them all, I think. See what I get. It'll just be more actives, won't it? But let's give it a go. Oh, we did get this, which is nice. We also got the wallet, which um is pretty good. Um We'll take the sack head, I guess. Kind of ruined the shop here, I didn't realise. My bad. Okay. Well, that's that. Sadly, we didn't get our mapping item we were looking for. Okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Sack head's pretty good for giving us more bombs. Not that we need them now, but still. It's nice. Okay. I think we, we got a bit of speed out of something there. I don't really know where our speed came from. Second secret room. We can check again here. No. No, it's not going to be either one of those, is it? Um, might be off of the boss trap room, but I highly, highly doubt it. Yeah. Not only do I doubt it, it's literally not plausible.
And they're both going to be off of this room by the looks of it. This one's going to be a whole load of Huey. More money to work with that we don't really need. And... Yeah, I thought this was going to be it as well. Dude, where are my items, baby? I want some items. I mean, health is looking very, very nice, but I want some items. Two. We're doing a very good job of killing this fella in time. That We had a holy mantle there, apparently. Gimme, gimme. What the hell is that? It just says pick it up. Okay. I picked it up. It's mine now. Really? I don't have enough money. God damn it. I was going to go deep on that. Damn it. I was going to go deep on that. Oh well. We got something at least. Right, down we go. I don't think that'll spawn magic skins. I don't think. I'm not sure. That might spawn magic skins in the future. I'm not entirely sure how that'll work. Oh, what? This is one of my rooms. Ayo! <laughs> Mum chest. It's one of my rooms, that is. So I'm guessing it just makes rare layouts more common, is how it works in terms of improving layouts. So technically it doesn't actually improve the chances of finding items at all. Especially like with my with my room pack, because my room pack is full of really, really rare rooms, and only like 10% of them have items in, because I wanted to keep it in line with the vanilla difficulty. In terms of like how many items you'd get. So without mapping, it is going to be a little bit of a fuckery to find all the secret rooms on the womb. I will try, but I'm not going to spend ages. Good job is. It's good, quick to check. I just wish we had more speed. That would make it even easier to check. I guess I'll take the Magician. I do have good range as well, which is making my swing way bigger, which is pretty nice. Does the swing let you pick up objects behind rocks and behind walls? Because if it does, that would be like a good secondary ability of the uh, notched axe. That would make it very, very good. I mean, it's already very good. Dude, did I, just, did I just turn that enemy into a much, much, much worse enemy? I think I did. And he's gone. Hey, we found these two at least. That's good enough for me. Some ghosties in there. And in here. Just some more money. We've not found any super interesting secret rooms yet. I haven't found a mum's chest for mum's contact, which isn't bad. It's one of my secret rooms as well, which is cool. Beautiful. Unfortunately, it, it, it very much indeed does replace other items of magic skin if you use that thing. Okay, never using that ever again. I didn't think it would, but it does. That's a shame. That is a shame. Why do I keep bombing? I don't need to bomb. What do we have that keeps... I think I think it's just one of our random tier effects that we're getting from the, the D3. Kind of annoying, though, to uh, keep getting enemies evolved into much harder enemies. Not what I want. Yeah, so you know what's just going to happen. We're finally going to find a secret room item. And it's probably going to turn into magic skin, isn't it? 
It's going to depress the hell out of me. Dude, I want speed so bad. Dude, I did not know I could open up stone chests with this. What? <laughs> this opens up stone chests? Since when? Soul of Isaac, I don't really know what you're going to be in for. I don't know what I'm going to use you for. I feel like I got a pretty good use out of my last one. Ah! The one piece is real. The one piece of what? Like a piece of cake? Nah, I'm pretty sure it means the TV show, anime, whatever you want to call it. I have no idea though. I've just realised I am extremely hungry. It's just come to me now. Had a feeling this would be the wrong way. Going the wrong way on the womb with, like, sub 1.3 speed is just pain. <laughs> it feels like it takes a century to get back to the way that you're supposed to be going. Oh, that's a lot of fellas. Luckily we've got this Caprice thing that's just absolutely saving my life. Cancel Fiend Folio. No, not cancel Fiend Folio. That's mean. Hey, we found another secret room. Sadly, yet again, not a great one. Yeah, I think I think having Fiend Folio um, and my secret room mod enabled is skewing the results of this tainted treasure item, giving like better layouts. Because I think it is just spawning the rare layouts, which, honestly, rare doesn't equate to good <laughs> in their uh, secret room layouts. There are some that are just interesting, but very basic. It's a cool item, nonetheless, though. I think this has been a, a pretty fun run. Considering we haven't done item rooms, we've got a pretty good run going. Like, it's there's no doubt about that. There is no doubt about that. I'm actually going to check this room here for second secret rooms. There's one. Thank you, Luna, for healing me back up. Got that fire rate going. Pop, pop. Can we, can we kill her before the last phase? I don't think we can. Oh, no, no, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes! My ultimate goal every run. Definitely take that. I'm going to Soul of Isaac these two and see what we get. Oh, one of them's magic skin. How dare you. Damn it. I don't know if having stacks of this item do anything to help us, but I'm going to try it out and see. Maybe I'll just get way more black hearts now. You never know. Right, on to the cathedral. Check all the walls. You've managed to kill yourself. Well done. Well done. I congratulate you on that. I still don't know what this little mandrake thing, whatever the hell I got, this plant... That just says, pick it up, does. It's a bit sus. I can skip some rooms by going through the secret rooms. Oh my god, okay. We learnt what it does, it got damn screams. I don't know why it screamed. I'm guessing that's like a reference to... Harry Potter, the, the little plant that you pull up and it screams, right? I don't know what else it does, though. Is the scream good? Oh, I knew it was going to happen at some point, you biatch. Guess we're sticking with it for now, then. Fuck it. We'll just... 
grab an unholy amount of uh, broken hearts. I wasn't going to take it, but it seems that it is my destiny now. This run's pretty good. Also, also, the salt item has really picked itself up. The more fire rate increase we, increases we got, the better it's been. Oh, dude, I just sharp plugged by accident. I completely forgot I had that. Oopsie. Let me go and spawn another item. Sharp plug is so OP if you can make it work. Crimson Stick, that item will not leave us alone. <laughs> that keeps on showing up. I mean, I love it. It's a really fun item. But it do be kind of crazy. Especially crazy, as we've shown before, if you manage to get Golden Bombs. If you get Golden Bombs, it is ludicrous how effective this thing can be. Alright, let's keep moving. Shouldn't have any problems here with Isaac. I gotta say, I think I think Salt has definitely carried us in a way. That item was unexpectedly good. It started off not feeling great, but it turned into something pretty beautiful. Bag of crafting, a fish bag, some. The rest of this stuff's terrible. <laughs> All of that stuff was just not good for us. Bag of crafting's not good because we're just going to craft more magic skins. I know your games, Isaac. I know your games. I know you'll screw me over. So was that thing screaming just to shit me up? Because it hasn't done it since. It see very much seems like it. I'm having kind of a hard time killing some of these enemies. What on earth is this? What is this thing? Ah, oh, it's one of you. We have quite a lot of broken hearts at the moment. Oh, hello. Oh, I just... I keep thinking I've got the goddamn... What's it called? I can't figure out what the goddamn room is. There it is. We actually got an item. Unfortunately, it also wasn't a good one. Also not very good. Oh, this has not been amazing. Can I just error room? <laughs> Can I just go? Oh, this is a regular room. I was expecting a red room here. I wasn't paying attention. Oh my god, he's doing the thing. So many explosives, Mozzie. You need to chill. Like, half the boss fight is just him dying. Dice bag's decent. If I get a full run reroll, I'll take it. Don't tempt fate, dice bag. I will do it. Oh my god. I really like the design of that room. Ooh, another secret room. Hello. Bob's Curse. Some playing cards, of which some of them tend to sacks. I do wish there were certain things that were protected from sacks, from like, from sack head taking effect. Some things that tend to sacks and you're like, hmm. This is, the, the value has been lost here. Obviously the sacks are generally, generally better, but in that situation I do not want a playing card to turn to a sack. It's not a good thing. All 
Right. You are dead, right? Oh my god, what is happening? He's our junior dude. These are not the items I'm looking for right now. And we've got some items out of these. That's decent. But I think we are getting a little bit ahead of ourselves in the uh, the old broken heart department. Broken hearts are uh, being a bit too crazy. Bow. And last few items here. This boiling blood item seems to come up quite a lot as well. Right, blue baby, it's time. Unfortunately, I sat directly on top of the uh, the chalk, so I can't spawn the thing. If you move out the way simply, we can sit on that and spawn something. There you go. Will it be anything useful? Oh, dude, it's a brimstone ghost. Heck yes. Amazing grab. Unfortunately, its aim is leaving a bit to be desired there. More than a bit. Yeah, dude, brimstone ghost? I had real hope for you, but you just kind of... You're firing into nothingness right now. Okay. We are good, we are good. The last phase. Brimstone Ghost, this is your redemption hour. You can do this. Oh! Yes! Brimstone Ghost finished him off. I love it. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was a fun run, definitely. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.